Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can make yourself some miniature sodas or canned goods. Okay, here's one that I purchased and it gave me the inspiration. You can buy them already in a set at like your craft store or hobby store or whatever. Um, and if you notice, they have like the little pool tab on it. Now, those are, um, I want to say they were around $5 for six of them. Possibly four dollars on sale. I can't remember um, But they have this little tab at the top of it Hopefully you can see that uh, It's not gonna focus for you Yeah, all right. Well, I tried to show you sorry, okay So you're gonna need some sale papers and you want to cut out whatever you're gonna be labeling it with I'm gonna be using some coca-cola and then um, we'll do a few other ones as well and then you'll need some wooden dowels and some aluminum foil. And then you're going to need hot glue. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is cut your little piece of foil. And then you want to take something flat and then you want to rub it out to get all the wrinkles out. And I'm just taking this across there just like that to get the bulk of the wrinkles as many as you possibly can out to where it looks nice and smooth. It's okay at the corner. Tips up though. Because that corner is going to be cut off eventually anyhow. Okay. After that, then I'm going to actually use theirs as a template. But you can make this just by doing a bead. Just do a round bead and a long bead and you can get the same thing as your effect. But since I already have these, I'm just going to use them. I'm going to go ahead and press my little piece of foil over top of that. All right. Once I have it over top of that, then I'm going to outline this center piece. Don't worry about the edge because the edge isn't going to be something we're going to be worried about on this tutorial. Just outline that little teeny tiny tab with the ball tool. And the reason I use this more so in here because it's this is soft like rubber. Okay, and just keep outlining that once you have it outlined you want to remove it then you want to take your hot glue be very careful not to get your fingers and you just want to do a little teeny tiny bit in there then you want to take your wooden dowel that you have Of course, mine's going to get sticky because I've got a hot glue fur hanging off of it. And then you want to press that down. And roll it on the table or whatever you have that's a flat surface to try and flatten that crinkle part on the side up. Try to center your tab if you can. Just work at it. Once the hot glue hardens, that tab's not going to go nowhere. All right, now cut out your rectangle of whatever label you're using. Okay, so once you have your label cut out, you can do one or two things. You can just paint the bottom, or you can do the same thing and wrap it in foil and then go back again. I'm just going to paint the bottom. 
because when I did this one with the foil on the bottom, it just seems to get kind of wonky a little bit. So I'm just going to do it like that. So my label is here. I'm just going to go and put a little, you can use different glue too, but I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on here just because it's quick. And just wrap it around. And there you have a little can of soda. If you end up with a bubble of hot glue, just take your hot glue gun over it and it'll heat it up and flatten it. But there you have, now there's another soda. And then that's it. Hope this tutorial was helpful and hopefully you'll be able to do this tutorial rather easy. It does take a couple times to get used to it. I will tell you, um, you can also do the tutorial by pressing out your foil. Like this making your impression if you don't have the tools just make your impression like that and it'll do it it just won't be as dominant as that and then so you don't lose your impression you can just do a little bit of hot glue right there on it while it's flat Find your center the best that you can, and then press down. But don't press down too hard because you don't want to flatten out your little impression. And you can see how it's not quite as raised around that. It kind of loses it, but, I mean, you do kind of get it. So you can still do it that way if you don't have the tools. I mean, if you're going to have to go out and buy the tools, then... Honestly, you might as well just buy the ones that are already made unless you plan on making a whole lot of them because these tools are um, a couple dollars a piece and that was only a couple dollars for the whole set. Or you could just find things around the house that use as toils, tools to get your impression. This is without tools, this is with tools. All right, well, I will see you next time. Like, subscribe, leave a question, suggestion, or comment below, and have a wonderful, wonderful day.